In viable democracy, where voters actually have a choice over who represents them, let's say in their state house, there's a set of incentives that flow with that with, that we think leads to and aligns with good public service, right? Uh, the warning I put in laboratories of autocracy is once you have no democracy at the state house level, once it's broken down so there's no accountability back to the people, all those incentives are actually flipped on their head. And it's what's leading to the downward spiral and extremism and corruption that we are seeing across the country. Now, let me walk through this for a second. It's really important as we shape what we have to do about it. So basically, in a system that's a healthy democracy with, comp with competition, there's all these incentives that you would behave a certain way to succeed, right? I mean, you, you want to be for things that are majority or popular or mainstream. You'd be for Roe v. Wade, since it's where most people are in most places. You also, though, have a real incentive to deliver great public outcomes, higher wages, better schools, uh, making, making towns viable again, you name it. That's how you get reelected, better health care. You have a really negative incentive of spending all your time just sitting around and enriching people who help you privately. That would actually cost you the office if voters had a choice and knew about it. And of course, since the voters are the ultimate decision maker, you generally do well in these systems by being for voters and for democracy. So what happens to these incentives in a world where there's no longer accountability, where democracy is gone? Well, sadly, all these incentives are flipped on their head and they become almost negative incentives. You no longer really need to be for things that are popular if you're reelected no matter what. Um, sorry, I dropped my pen. But you're get, you do great by being extremist. Why? Because you head off the next primary challenge that's your only real threat to your career. Public outcomes no longer matter if you're reelected no matter what. If your roads are falling apart, if your schools get worse, it doesn't matter. You're reelected no matter what in a gerrymandered system. What do you do well by doing? Keeping those private players happy, even at the expense of public outcomes, because they're in that state capital paying attention. They can knock you out of office, even if your voters can't. And of course, if you're doing all these things, you also know that in a real democracy, you would be out of power in a second. So now you have this incentive to actually subvert democracy, which allows everything else to keep going. If we're going to stop the downward spiral, we must bring accountability back to these state houses.